so <sighs> I did another thing. I bought an entire estate or an entire lot of birds. These boxes. Oh, and and that box. Totally filled with birds. So let's look through it. See what I got. Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifty. This is Mid-Century Wasted. Okay, so this is kind of a spur of the moment unboxing here. This bird lot sort of just <laughs> happened. I actually saw on Facebook Marketplace, someone was clearing out, I guess their mother's estate. And she had this lifelong collection of bird figurines and they kind of just needed to get rid of them, clean it all out, kind of sad, but it's one of those things that just happens. And I am more than happy to be the one to acquire an entire collection of something. <laughs> As you can see, I have done this before where I just sort of like get someone's entire collection. Like, all right, I'll just buy the whole collection then. Sure, I got room. <laughs> you know, it's it, it makes me happy to be able to acquire someone's entire collection because I know I will honor this stuff and I will piece it out to people who are also collectors and it will go back into a collection this way. It's much better than things just getting tossed into a dumpster or even donated because a lot of it will stay together hopefully. I'll be able to put it into lots or if there's you know things that, that go together, they'll stay together. I just realized you were just staring at my Halloween de decorations here this whole time. I'm gonna get this stuff out of the way. I think we're gonna need all the space we can get. She said there was 65 plus birds and I bought the entire lot of them for $50. So it's less than a buck a bird. <laughs> but so he, let's sort through it, see what's in here. There was only a couple pictures and there's definitely a lot more here than was shown in the pictures. So I'm not entirely sure what we're even gonna find in here. So um, let's just grab a box and start looking. All right, box number one. This is the first one here and this one definitely has a scent. This one has an aroma to it that I do not really find to be pleasant. <laughs> I don't know if this is a potpourri bird or what. It has a little tag on it. Cindy and Company, 1986. Oh, it's eucalyptus. Okay, well, you know, now that I know that, it doesn't actually smell as bad as my original senses, but um, yeah, that looks like 1986. Sure does. Oh, look at this one. Oh, oh, would you look at that? It's a cutie little owl. Look at that cutie little owl. I love him. It's that Mexican pottery, right? Like, was it Tanala or something like that? Oh, I like that one. I'm already off to a good start, I feel. I'm gonna just move these boxes down here. Oh, just get them out of the way a little bit. There. That way I have a little bit more room on the table. Okay, oh, here's another Tanala Mexico bird. Am I saying, is Tanala even right? I, I have had one other piece that, that looks similar to this, so I might be saying it wrong. But it's that Mexican pottery. This one's signed, marked. Looks like CHT, I'm not sure. I like those ones. And here's an eagle, a wooden eagle. Look at those talons, those are some sharp talons. What is that it's made out of? Maybe metal. It's carved and painted. Interesting. Oh, I see another owl. Oh, is this the Uruguay pottery? I think it is. I'm starting to recognize this. Unfortunately, it does have a chip right there. Oh, and right, mm, no, maybe not right there, but I think it does have one right here. Yeah, it does. 
So that's too bad, but like I always say, rinconata, that's what the word I'm trying to think of. Like I always say, if it's something that's badly damaged, I usually end up keeping it for myself. So, hey, maybe he'll go into my Halloween decor. I think he looks pretty good with my tablecloth. That's for Halloween. That'll work. I like him. I like him a lot. That was really cute. Oh, that looks like a pelican to me. Look at his, look at the way his beak kind of has like a bulge in the bottom. I think that's a pelican. Definitely cute. Oh, this one's signed. 1978. I don't know what that says. Right there. No idea. Oh, look at this one. That's really shiny, pretty wood. That's a cool owl. Uh, no signature. That's really cool looking. I like that guy. Ooh. Hey, look it. He's got a buddy. I can't believe I bought an entire bird lot. He's too much. So see, I could sell those as a set, you know? Somebody might want two of them. Oh, hey, look at this. <laughs> Hey, Nicole, it's Blue Bowed Goose. Look at that. There it is. The coveted Blue Bowed Goose. Is that dirty or is it aged? I cannot tell. <laughs> Maybe it's a bad sign when you can't tell if it's dirty or aged. Has his head been broken? Oh, he's got a little, the little like hairline crack on his neck right there. Oh, well, we still got to save the Blue Bowed Goose, right? Okay, so this one I did see in the... In the picture, obviously that one caught my eye. This is like, it's like paper mache or something. It's super lightweight. I think the legs are made out of metal, but the body itself, it's, I feel like it's some kind of paper mache maybe. It's definitely not ceramic. That's pretty cool. I like the Mingo. Let me get to this big one here. Well, my, my, my. I'm gonna hold it way back here so you can even see it. That's a big old quail on some super weird wood. Is that wood? It's signed, thank goodness. Wow, walnut quail on manzanita burl. Okay, I know about manzanita trees. Those are local. H. Ray Ford, we have manzanita trees in Southern California. Well, that's cool, I'm glad I had info on the bottom. It's in good shape too, not broken. It's totally intact. That tail is not broken either. It just kind of looks like it has a funny shape to it, but it's all smooth and nice. It's meant to look like that. Cool. I actually really like that one. Very large. All right, what else do we got in here? Oh, is this a blue bird of happiness? I don't know. Is it? Wait. Oh, it's made in Sweden. I love it. What does it say? Cons. Ooh, okay, a lot of Swedish words that I don't know how to pronounce. There you go, it's kind of greasy. I need to clean it off. Um, well, that's gonna end up staying with me just because it's from Sweden. I have a small collection of Swedish things because my great grandma was from Sweden. And so I have some of her things and I have like a little Swedish collection now. And this is perfect. This will, it's blue too, so go with it perfectly. I love that one. Here's a duck a wood duck mm, it's felt on the bottom but it's not signed or anything we just got a nice little wooden duck this looks like the same like the same artist well you know what maybe not because this is really polished and shiny and this one's really rough so maybe it's not the same artist it's just similar oh a bell a swan bell this has its ringer Oh, it's called clappers. Now this is a, what do they call that? It's like one of those creases in the glass. It's not a chip. It's part of the manufacturing process there. Yeah, this is in good shape. Sing the song, you know you want to. Ooh, this one's, oh, crystal. Yeah, crystal duck. Princess house. Yeah, princess house crystal duck. Look at that. What do you know? Really nice shape. I wonder what that goes for. I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm gonna have to look all of those up. Oh, hey, this is a salt and pepper. It's an owl. Oh, it's still got pepper in it. See the pepper in there still? <laughs> well, I hope the other one's in here. I hope the salt is in here because 
That is super, super neat looking. God, that would be good for Halloween too. Owl things, I kind of think Halloween anyway, but of course it is Halloween time right now, so I'm extra thinking about it. All right, this is that bisque feeling. Oh, actually, you know what? This is like, it almost looked like it was made out of made out of sand in a way, but it does have a big chip right here on the tail. So yeah, that's unfortunate. That's too bad. Someone still might want it though. You never know. That's the good thing about when you buy an entire lot of these things. Even if something is a little chipped, I could sell it for so cheap. If somebody wanted that for a couple bucks, I would sell it to them for a couple bucks because it's chipped and I have plenty of others to recoup my investment here. So this is really lightweight. It's like made out of just little thin pieces of some kind of wood or I don't know, bamboo maybe or something. I am not really sure. Well, that's kind of neat. Another little duck. Am I calling all of these neat? Have I said every single one is neat? Could be the word of the day. Oh, yay, 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 yay. We got it. <sighs> that is so cool. Those are fantastic. All right, where are my owl people? Look at those. That's great. There's some quality stuff in here. Oh, we got a second one. So they're a pair. Let's see what kind of condition this one's in. This one looks like it's, I don't wanna speak too soon. It's a little scuffed, a little dirty, but it's not chipped. Oh God, this texture is like, um, it's like touching a fingernail file. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It's really rough. It really has like a sand quality. It might be like made out of some kind of a, a sand. Well, so with two of them, that's better. So one of them has a little chip on the tail, but you've got a pair of them now. So that's kind of nicer. I think we got the last thing in here. Double, triple check. Yes. It's the last thing in this box. It's a, oh my goodness. It's from Sweden too. This is like the doll of horses, but it's a, it's a rooster. <laughs> I'm not one who is really like fond of chickens and roosters. So I don't collect rooster and chicken things, but this will look really good with my dollar horse and it's Swedish. So I think it's gonna go in the keep pile, which as of now looks like this. There's my keep pile. <laughs> All right, let's get another box here. Okay, box number two. Oh, we got another bluebird. Now, is that a bluebird of happiness? I've heard of people talking about them. It's got like a big, big bubble inside of him. No, he's got like a dent right here on his beak, but, but it's really smooth. So I think that was actually intentional to give him like a little pointy beak. I think it's just pinched like when they made it. He's in good shape. I don't feel any chips on him at all. Cute. I've never gotten one of those before, if that even is a bluebird of happiness. You know, I didn't look to see if it was signed on the bottom. It is not. No, it's not. So maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a similar bird. I don't know. Okay, so this is, I don't know what kind of bird that is. An Oriole, maybe? Oh, all right. Brinzer Holtz Schnitzere. <laughs> I probably said that so wrong. Uh, okay, there you go. There's a bunch of Swiss words that I don't know how to say, but it's always good when something is signed on the bottom because if nothing else, I can I can look it up. All right, think these two go together. This is just a little nest and a really little birdie. Bob's Rexall, made in China, $3.50 originally. All right, that's just one of those little things like you would just put in with something else you're doing a display of some sort all right I have all these papers i don't want to just pull them in case there's something breakable oh this little guy just popped out that is teeny no that looked like it was glued to something so and it also looks kind of similar to that one so we're going to set that aside for a minute what have we got here oh Look at the sweetest. Oh, that comes out. Look at that. I wonder if she just did that herself. That's just like some really, really old tape around that, holding that together. I wonder if she just picked those little flowers and put that in there. That's really sweet. Phillips. 
No chips. It's in good shape. It's very cute. It's tiny too, if you can't tell. It's like, fits in the palm of my hand. Cuties. Here's another, oh, here's one more little thing that fell out. I'm trying to stick it back in there. There we go. Here's another blown glass bird. Pontal is kind of sharp down there, so gotta be careful with this one. This, the eye isn't chipped. The wing's not chipped. We're good. Tail is good. Very delicate, especially like, I don't know if you can tell, like the eye kind of sticks out and the beak, obviously. It's got a lot of bubbles in there. I, I, I wouldn't say that those are controlled bubbles. You know what I mean? Ooh, look at the pattern through of the tablecloth through there. <laughs> that looks kind of cool. But yeah, those are not controlled bubbles. This is just, you know, you're kind of run of the mill blown glass little piece here. So cute though. <sighs> what have we got here? This is like carved so stone. Is it soapstone maybe? Or no, yeah, it's usually isn't that usually lighter? I don't know. That's pretty cool though. A couple little owls. I don't think it it doesn't look chipped or anything. It's just I don't know the way it's painted or the way the stone is or something. I think it's just the way it's painted. Interesting. Look at this collection we've got going on already here. Oh wow. This is heavy okay okay so i just did a haul video where i picked up a pelican made out of the same wood with the same kind of rougher wood as the base and then the really glossy wood as but see it's all one piece of wood but it's just the way they finished it and it was a pelican i got it at an estate sale last summer and i just did the haul on it and this is obviously a quail with a little doodad on top of his head here, let me, you know what? It's over here somewhere. It's nearby. You can grab it. Okay, so here it is. See how those are both the same. The, the base is the raw wood and then they really polish up the top there. The top, the carved bird. And I was looking this one up and I believe, because these are super heavy. I believe it's called ironwood or something like that. I, I am really drawn to these. I really like the way these look a lot. It's funny that the two bigger ones are both quails. Maybe quails were like the best bird to her. Like she'd love the quails. I don't know. All right. We have an owl who is missing an eyeball and it's got some damage. Unfortunately, this looks like it's all made out of shell, but unfortunately this one is missing an eye and that that part is actually the worst part because I can't do do anything about that or this. That's sad, that's too bad. Cause that one's really cool looking. Not everything can stay in good shape for so long. Oh, music box. Oh, an Otagiri music box, Beyond the Reef, Otagiri, Japan. And these are seagulls, which, uh, you know, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna say anything bad or negative, but seagulls are just, let's say they're not my favorite bird. I live at the beach. Seagulls are a bit of a nuisance, but this is pretty. Let's see what the... All right, good, I didn't wind it too long. Oh, still going. Beyond the reef, beyond the reef. Yep, it's gonna keep going for a little while, of course. Oh, this is so stinking cute. Look at that. Look at his little face, his little round rock body. Rosa, 1977 probably, 71 or 77. Rosa, you did such a good job painting this. Look at his cute little feetsies. He's so heavy and so round. I feel like it's just a rock. I don't know how she got the feet on there. I don't know, maybe it's just like cement too, but look at him. That's stinking cute. Oh my gosh, adorable. Oh, this is really cool. Look at that, toucan, is that what it is? Or a um, macaw or something? I don't know. I'm. You, if you haven't figured it out already, I'm not good with like different species of birds. 
not my thing, but it's signed. I'll have to look up that signature. It's numbered. It reminds me of the Ring Canada, the way it's like some of it's really rough and some of it's shiny and polished. That's a neat one. Looks like it's in good shape too. I don't think it's chipped at all. Looks like it's in good shape. Cool. Look at this collection as it's growing here. It looks really neat all together too. All right. I've got a swan, Royal Heritage, Taiwan. Okay, that's pretty detailed with all those layers. I'm not seeing any damage on this one. And at first glance, it looks like it's in good shape. <laughs> oh my gracious. Look at this foofy little thing. That's cutesy. That's cutesy rootsy. <laughs> it's got like real feathers, but it's m whole body is mostly just this like batting stuff. Interesting. All right. We got one more in this box. Well, this one's neat. This one's like dark and mysterious. It's all black. Woodwards. I want to kind of see what's. Oh, if I take that off, it's going to take off the label underneath. Try coming at it from the other side. No. I want to see what it is, though. I'll mess with that later. Cute. All right. Okay, sorry. The sun is starting to shine in on this table here, so. Is that doing anything? There we go. Okay. The sun is going down, so our lighting is changing a little bit here. All right. Let's get another box. All right. This one I'm going to keep on the floor, or at least for now, because I'm running out of room on the table already. Okay. Oh, my. This is just like a big hunk of glass. It's got a big old bird on it. This is kind of interesting. I almost wonder if this is Swedish too. Oh, it has a signature. Oh, it does. Oh, wait. Hang on. Let me clean it with my shirt. It's numbered. Maybe 9212 M. See, I, because I don't know, because I'm not familiar with like glass makers and stuff. I'm not gonna be able to recognize the signature, but it gives me something to go off of when I'm researching. So, oh, it stands up like that. That's cool. Oh my gosh. So many getting overwhelmed. This one's numbered on the bottom. And you know, this is one of those things where it's probably going to be chipped. Although at first glance, I don't, I don't see any chips. All those little folds look intentional. It'd be crazy if that wasn't chipped at all. The wings look good. Tail looks good. Huh, that one's not chipped. Cool. That's nice. Oh, there's another Mexican pottery one. That's a rooster in Mexico. Oh, it's got that little symbol on it. I have a little chart where you can look up the different animals that they put on there or the different symbols they put on, on there represented a different artist. So I can look that one up. That's neat. Try to keep all those sort of together over here. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so many left still. What have I done? This is too many birds. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy moly. Look at this. Oh, look, he's got a little thing in his mouth. That's neat. Oh, price tag. Submerge plant overnight every other week. What? Was this supposed to be a living plant? I don't think she submerged it. The plant was not submerged. Oh, well. The parrot is still good, even though she may have killed the plants. We've got another pelican. Oh, how I love the pelicans. I love them so. These ones on the, the wood, it just seems, it feels like very 70s to me. I don't know if that was like a 70s art style, but that's what I think of. Oh, oh, is this a turkey? It is. Uh-oh, I might have to keep this one for Thanksgiving. <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's very heavy. I don't know what it's made out of it. It's kind of similar in like shape and style to the Mexican Tanala looking ones, but obviously the glaze is completely different. Here's another wood goose. That looks like a goose. Oh. M. Velfheim. Velfheim? Don't know. Oh, this one's pretty. Very stylized, very glossy. Genuine Barbados Mahogany, Medford Mahogany Creations. It's really pretty. That one's really, really pretty. Oh, Japan. 
OMC Japan. I've seen that that company before. What kind of bird is this? Like a caca something? Cockatiel? Cockatoo? It's probably not even. I just wanted to say caca. Caca something. It's in good shape. I don't see any chips or anything on it. And that's always good. All right, I have unveiled another layer here. Wow, look at the, how delicate that, that beak is. And the flowers. Oh, there's just one, one chip that's like so slight. Can't even, yeah, it's a chip. It must be a chip, but very slight. Wow. Oh, the San Francisco Music Box Company. Well, let's do it. Oh, it stopped. Now it's going to go off forever. To stop? Oh, nope. Okay, well, because I have to stop anyway to wait for this to stop making music, I'm going to end here for this video. And I also think it's probably getting pretty long because I've already gone through so much. We're going to do part two next time. And I won't wind any music boxes. So stay tuned. Part two, unboxing the rest of these birds coming soon. We still got a, one very big box and the rest of that one over there hiding in the corner. Did it finally stop? I think it finally stopped. Well, we're still going to stop anyway. We'll do part two next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.